My name is Mona Chopra. I am an acupuncturist here in New York City. Cupping is one of the methods of treatment used in Chinese medicine to help promote free flow of blood, qi, and lymph. The traditional way of doing cupping is how I do it, which some people call fire cupping, which basically is using a glass cup and I put a flame inside the cup to remove the oxygen and then quickly adhere the cup to the person's body. That just creates the suction. And you'll see that the skin and that muscle underlying kind of gets sucked up into the cup. Cupping is extremely helpful for all kinds of musculoskeletal pain, um, particularly any kind of pain along the neck and back area. Cupping can be tremendously beneficial for that. Cupping is really great also for any kind of what we call in Chinese medicine like a wind cold or wind heat condition. Basically if someone has a cold, common cold, a flu, any sort of respiratory condition, bronchitis, even pneumonia, cupping can be very, very helpful. If a person has uh, a lack of sensation in a certain area, doing flash cupping, which is apply the cup, take it off, apply the cup, take it off, really helps to rejuvenate and bring circulation to an area. So if an area is lacking circulation, cupping is extremely helpful for that. Cupping is also helpful if someone has had an acute injury and there is swelling. So for example, if someone has sprained their ankle and there's a lot of swelling, you can do something called bleeding cupping, which sounds like kind of a medieval <laughs> torture technique, but it's actually not and it's really very beneficial, which is simply taking a lancet to the area of extreme swelling, just a little prick there, which creates an opening, and then apply the cup, and that will allow some of the fluids that are stagnating in that area to come up into the cup and drain and help the ankle to heal. Cupping is working in a, in a broader way, and it's also working a little bit more with the flesh, with the matter of it, Whereas the acupuncture point, while it is working with the flesh and the matter, it's also really specifically working with the chi or the energy of the body. And um, cupping is just a little more of a gross technique in that way. Um, so the combination is actually tremendously beneficial, acupuncture and cupping.